first of all, congratulations on the win. I guess you're not just a boxer after all. You've got some kicks as well. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I, I was actually telling my training partner all week that I was going to I was gonna hit the head kick. I, I, I don't know what it was, but I just knew that the head kick was going to be there. Uh, and then also, too, I, I've always wanted a head kick knockout because, you know, uh, punch knockouts, you know, they're, they're – they're great, you know. They're they're really really great, uh, but you know I've always admired the uh, Anderson Silva and uh, and Mirko Krokop, you know, and Gabriel Gonzaga. Whenever he hit it on Mirko Krokop, you know, like to me, I always thought that was really cool, you know, just like taking something that's at at floor level and bringing it up to someone's head and knock them out. So to me, that was very very cool. And for me to do that, I was like. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked great, and he even helped you out. He sort of ran into it, you know, so it extra force. Oh, yeah. You said you knew the head kick was going to be there. Is that because of him, or just you knew in yourself that you were able to land a kick? I, I looked at a little bit of his uh, last fight with, uh, I, I guess it was in February earlier this year, and I kind of saw a little bit of tendencies, but it was one of those things that I was like, if it's there, it's there, and I'll throw it. But there was just something within me whenever I, I got here that I was like throwing the head kick, and everything felt smooth. Whenever I was throwing it, uh, whenever I was throwing it on the on the on the mitts, you know, with my coach, and we're warming up, it just felt right. Uh, and then, like, I knew I could hurt him with the hands and everything, but it was just one of those things that, as soon as I saw that that corner turn on the fence, I was like, he has nowhere to go. He can't back up. The only way he's going to be able to run run is run uh, run to his right, and he's going to run right into that head kick. So I just launched it. How different would your life be if you got fifty grounds? Oh man, uh, it'd be great. <laughs> Shoot, you're not seeing me work. I'm committing full time to training, man. So I really hope I got it. Cool. Uh, and last thing for me, you mentioned that, you know, you've got a, a future in this sport and you're a talent. What's it like to know that you fought on the same night that Anderson Silva potentially retired? Man, I'm telling you right now, I I idolize that guy. I, I remember the exact the exact place. Like I can tell you exactly where I was at, exactly what I was doing whenever I saw him front kick Vitor Belfort in the face. I was at a CC's Pizza, you know. I was sitting down, and it it was one of those it was one of those weird things where, uh, CC that CC's Pizza location was doing some shady things. Uh, <laughs> uh, they were they were selling beer. You had to pay five dollars uh, for to watch the fight, and you get to watch fight eat pizza. And then er I wasn't old enough, so uh, everybody around me was drinking beer. So I, I was there sitting up. I just remember looking at the at the flat screen and just sitting there and just in awe whenever Anderson Silva front kicked Vitor Belfort in the face. So. I can remember that, like, I can remember, like, the, the pizza I had, the buffalo chicken pizza, and then also the uh, pepperoni sausage pizza, and, man, I can tell you right now, like, that's pretty much all I had, except probably for, like, a couple cinnamon rolls, man. I I can remember exactly where I was at when that happened, so, like, if I can, if I can pinpoint that, this, to me, is just on another level, because that's how much I idolize this guy, so it means the world to me. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Adrian, out of curiosity, you know, you get a big finish. We know a bonus is always great. Are you aware of the fact that the last few guys behind you have also put people to sleep? Oh, yeah. I, I was looking at uh, Miles John's fight, and I just looked, and I was like, well, he just made it a lot harder to get uh, 50 Gs. You know, one, one down. I was like, well, I got to make sure I get the other one. Or, you know, uh, you know, there's no fight of the nights, and everybody just gets performance bonuses. So, you know, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. You know, everybody gets performance bonuses, but, you know, I'm really hoping I take the cake, you know, because uh, mine was a head kick. You know, everybody gets punch knockouts, you know. So, man, I, I got the head kick. <laughs> just out of curiosity, were you able to run into Anderson at weigh-ins or anything this week? Oh, I, I, ran, him, I ran into him at the PI. I wasn't, uh, I, like me, I didn't ask for the picture. Uh, it was my training partner. We were both sitting there, and he was just like, uh, my training partner, Cameron, he was just in there. He's like, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? And I was like, uh, he was like, am I going to do it? Are you going to do it? And I was like, and he's like, screw it. I'm going to do it. So he asked him. I was like, all right. I was like, I'm just going to join. <laughs> so, yeah, I was pretty starstruck. I didn't want to show it, but I was really, really starstruck. I, I, I didn't want to ask the man for a picture because that's how, like, I was like, I was like, uh, you know, but luckily he did. So I was able to get a picture with him and everything. So that was pretty cool. I, I, you're happy and I almost feel bad, but we know the Contender Series would have meant to you to get the contract, to get your first UFC victory. I mean, do you take any of that with you back home for anything? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, it, it's it's amazing. You know, the, the Contender Series, you know, I just got the contract. I was able to put my foot in the door. Uh, but now, like, this opportunity that I had to jump into the UFC, this means a lot to me. I think it means a lot more to my family as well because, you know, 
they could say like, yeah, he got on the contenders, you know, but has he fought in the UFC? Uh, no, not yet. He no. Uh, but now that I got the head kick knockout in the UFC, my family goes, hey, look, like he, my cousin, he fights in the UFC. Look, this head kick knockout, you know, which I kind of proud myself off of, you know, like my family being able to, uh, uh, like look up to me and everything. Like my little cousins and my little nieces and nephews, you know, look up to me. So that I I bring that sense of pride. So it it, it like it helps fire me up. So you know, going home, you know, I I'm. It, I'm pretty sure they're going to have, like, a surprise party for me as soon as I get home. So this last time uh, for the contenders, they had, like, a like a flan. Uh, it's, a, it's a Mexican uh, type of dessert. And they actually had my face on the flan. And I to me, I was that was crazy. I was like, man, I don't even know how you do that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll get something. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thank you.